The, the next couple of tours you did in Japan were for Inoki. Describe for the people at, at, at that point in time in the, the mid-late 70s what the tour was like. Once you got there, how you traveled, the towns, the TV. There was no specific TV taping. They taped uh, different well, house I think, shows, I, I right? Well, I think they did. I, I think they did tape it, you know, at different time. You, you might know that the, there's TV on. But there is, you know, the thing is, there's no uh, interviews. There was no, uh, yeah, I mean, what, what, how you developed your character was strictly in the ring. Yeah. There was no personality to say, uh, well, this is what I'm going to do, you know, because <laughs> we didn't, there was no interviews for the Americans. And, and I may, later the Japanese did, did some talking, you know, but uh, basically it was just uh, the action in the ring to develop your character. And when they'd bring you in, it was a bus tour around the country, right, right for, yeah. for the most part? Yeah, mo uh, well, back to, you know, when we first did it, we, any anything long, we used to travel by the Shinkansen, you know, the bullet train, you know, uh, we'd, they, we'd travel all over the country by train, and then we'd catch up with the bus, and then we'd get on the bus for three or four days, and then we might take a big, long trip, you know, b back on the Shinkansen to some other place, and then the bus would catch up, but, you know, so yeah, we they had a bus, uh, and uh, all Japan, actually, the very first time I went all Japan, everybody was we had this huge bus, and everybody got on the bus. I mean, uh, the Japanese and the Americans all got on this bus. Baba, Jumbo, and the two or three of the top guys, right. they would ride in a van, different. But everybody else would just pile on this big bus, and we'd go around. But, but Anoki... When I got there, he had two separate buses. The guy, Gene, uh, the foreign guys would be on one bus. The Japanese would be on a completely separate. Because it was, it was kayfabe because most of the time you were wrestling these guys, so it, it really Isn't didn't. did it steal? Well, <laughs> there you go. It didn't. It didn't look good for the fans who might be hanging around to see everybody get on the bus afterwards. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, I know mean, you did that, and, and didn't you kind of instigate Baba to, to address that as well? Yeah, we, we did, you know. Well, I mean, eventually, eventually. he just he found out, you know, that uh, I don't know if I had influence, but I, I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I'm wrestling with Okuma, and all of a sudden Okuma's on the bus with me. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he, I think he was smart enough to realize that needed to be done. So, you know, they, they put us on separate buses. They, at the time, they ran uh, arenas large and small, towns large and small all over the country. Yeah. You were in some of the, you were in some of the penthouses, but there was a few outhouses, oh, I'm sure, let me too. What, what I were mean, the tank towns in Japan like? Well, this has got to be good. You know, the thing is, they have outdoor shows. You know, they would... Uh, they had a whole crew of people. I mean, it's just a, a great crew that they have about this tall, big blue tarps, you know, that uh, you, you see sold at Sam's or wherever, you know. You have these things, and they would have all these uh, poles, and they would set up and put around blue all the way around it and then you'd come in and yeah. pay tickets in one place and they'd string lights up over the ring and, the, and sometimes there wasn't any chairs. I mean, they just had mats. People come in and sit. Can you imagine paying $25 to go <laughs> sit, on a, sit on the ground on a mat, you know? Because uh, the tickets then weren't they ended cheap up even getting, in those yeah, days there yeah. for, you know, in terms of the, the money right, they cost. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, ringside tickets were like 5,000 yen of course, back then, that's, you know, that's, I don't know, about 10 bucks, I guess. But, you know, that was big money back, in, you know, in the early 70s, yeah. right? And uh, But anyway, and then they, uh, Baba, anyway, and I'm sure Anoki did the same thing. He ended up uh, buying trucks full of chairs. And so they could set up a certain way to, you know, to set set up chairs inside these outdoor shows. So those those were pretty, you know, pretty neat. And you had to dress on the bus. There wasn't no dra dressing room. And you'd have to dress on the bus, and you'd go out and go to the ring, and then come back through, and you know. So it was uh, it was it was different. So those smaller towns, <clears throat> it was uh, you know kind of neat, but you know 
someplace like Laranger, Louisiana, you know, oh, where God. I, you know, I used to wrestle for Watson. Down I've been, there. I've been to Laranger. I would, I would dress in a car rather than try to get in that little eight by eight foot locker <laughs> yeah, room with can. Bundy or whatever. Well, yeah. I mean, so you know that kind of that kind of a little, a little, just a you know, just a hardcore, just small place venue that uh, you know, it wasn't a place you'd be wanting to go yeah. to, you know, but. <laughs> 